I'm Andy. In this series of videos, I'm building a cedar strip canoe. In this episode, I'm going to machine down an ash plank, which I'm going to use to form the gunnels, the seats, the thwarts, and at the moment, most importantly, the stems for the canoe. The stems are laminated at the bow and stern of the boat around the stem moulds. They're in two pieces. The inner stem is directly against the mould and the planks land on the outside of it. Once the planking of the hull is complete, the outer stem is then fastened to the outside. The outer stem in particular takes some abuse when the canoe is in use and so it tends to be made out of a harder wood. Ash is a very tough, very strong wood and ideal for this use. That's a really beautiful piece of timber. I'm very, very happy. It's almost completely flawless. There is a slight pattern in the grain towards one end in two places. I'm not quite sure what causes this, but it's, it almost looks like damage to the tree that's partially healed while it's growing. If anyone knows what this is, I'd be really interested to find out if you leave a comment. My long time selecting it in the timber merchant paid off. The stems are the curved sections at the bow and stern of the boat and there's quite a sharp curve on them. I have read that you can either steam these pieces of wood or make them thinner and then just bend them dry. In my case, because I have quite a thick blade on my table saw, I would be losing more than half the wood I started with if I made them thin enough to bend dry and I've always wanted to try steaming wood anyway. For that reason, I have cut my strips. These are approximately one quarter of an inch by three quarters of an inch. I've set up a simple steamer, I have my strips ready to go for one of the two um, ends of the boat and for the steam I am using an old wallpaper steamer that I have sitting around. We're about three minutes in. This tube isn't coping well with the heat, <laughs> so I'll take that clamp off. Okay, you ready? Okay. 
has any improvements. Turn the face the tail out towards me, take it out, turn it around, perfect. You there? Mm -hmm. Excellent. Right, that needs to be tighter. Brilliant, thank you. The first time is done. It's drying, it has to stay there for about 24 hours. So in the meantime, I'm going to start working the second stem. I have the pieces in and lined up. Just stand here, ready? <laughs> okay, go. Can you turn off the plug? Please don't put that bit in. <laughs> what, are you armed with a clamp? Armed There's snow on the ground outside, so it's much too cold to be using epoxy in the garage. So for this next step of gluing the stem laminates together, I've moved into the kitchen and I've brought the stem moulds out of the garage and into the kitchen as well. I was running short of clamps, um, these are the cheap ones from Screwfix, I'm now running shorter on clamps, so I have one hole unclamped, two holes now unclamped and I probably have to try and find other clamps in the garage to deal with that. Well that's a bit unconventional for woodworking, automotive spring compressors, but surprisingly they fit in here enough perfectly. That's all I have time for just now, thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed this video please do click like or consider subscribing to my channel. In the next episode I'm hoping to attach the stems back onto the mould and perhaps even start some stripping of the canoe. See you then, bye for now.